Good morning, Henley students. This is Mrs. Furlow. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Piet Mondrian composition with red, blue, and yellow. First thing you're going to need is a piece of blank white paper, pencil, primary color crayons, red, blue, and yellow, and a black crayon. If you don't have crayons, you could use markers, you could use paint, you could use chalk, you could use anything that you have that is red, blue, and yellow. You could even cut out construction paper and make this project with paper and glue. First thing we're going to do is we're going to draw some vertical lines. A vertical line is a line that goes up and down. You want some of your vertical lines to go from the top of the paper all the way to the bottom. I'm using a ruler. But if you don't have a ruler, you could always use a cardboard box, like this one. And all you have to do is trace the edge of the cardboard box, and that will give you a pretty straight line. I find a ruler is a lot more comfortable to work with. Now I'm going to draw a horizontal line. A horizontal line goes side to side from left to right. The horizontal line should go from one edge of the paper all the way to the other edge. Now that I have one vertical and one horizontal, I can draw some smaller vertical and horizontal lines. Let's say I want a vertical line that goes from this horizontal line down to the edge. You should start at a line and go to the edge of your paper. And I want a horizontal line that goes from this line all the way to the edge of the paper there. Now you will see that I have some squares and some rectangles. I want to color some of my squares with the primary colors. I'm going to do, just like Piet Mondrian did, one of each. And the rest of the boxes and squares and rectangles, I'm going to leave them white, just like Piet Mondrian. I'm going to pause the video and do my coloring, and then I'll start recording again to show you the last step. As you can see, I colored blue, red, and yellow boxes on my paper, and I left the rest of them white. Now I'm going to do the last step, which is to trace over my vertical and horizontal lines with a black crayon. I want to make sure that I do this nice and straight so you can use your ruler or you can use your box, cardboard box, to make sure the lines are nice and straight. The reason why I did not do them black to start is because black smears. Whenever you color another color right next to the black line, it will smear the black line. And I didn't want my primary colors to be smeared black. Last one. Now, if I want, I can make some of these lines thin, like these, and I make some of them thick. I think I want to make this one thick. That's good. Thank you, Jack. Jack likes my picture. I hope you enjoy making your Piet Mondrian composition with red, blue, and yellow. Okay, make my